so many wonderful stories. Um, we started going around to the, the schools throughout the tri-state area trying to encourage students to stay in school and be on time. And Frankie Crockett used to give us a bag of change with nickels, dimes, quarters. And it wasn't a weapon, we just, just used it to put, <laughs> put in the telephone booth. You see, we were calling in from different locations, and that's why back in the day, when you heard us call from here, we'd be all over the Tri-State area, all the five boroughs, and we would call from those different places, and you'd wonder, wow, this guy's everywhere. That's because they wanted us to, you know, go out and sell the goodwill of the radio station. So we started something called the WBLS On Time program. It was geared uh, to um, encouraging students to stay in school, be on time and get a good education. Um, so we were at one particular school. This is, <laughs> I gotta tell you this. And um, it was Kennedy High School in the Bronx. The school was out there in full force, 100% attendance that morning. And that's what we were looking for. And that's, we started, you know, we were like superstars. We would go out there and the whole school would come out just to hear themselves on the radio. So we put the money in the, in the telephone booth and Ken Spiderweb was on her, Ken Spiderweb, he was on the radio at that time. So he says, hold on Bob, I got a contest and uh, as soon as I knock out this contest, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna come right to you. So of course, it's in real time. So we open up the sliding door and I have that big speaker out there and everybody can hear it all over the place. So time was passing and he, he finally finished up his contest. He said, all right, let's go out to Dr. Bob. You know, the whole crowd was there. Let's go out to Dr. Bob Lee. Doc, what's, what's going on? I said, Ken, we're live. And the crowd was like, ah. You couldn't even hear yourself. The crowd was like, ah. Said, Ken, we're out here live in the Bronx. We have 100% attendance. Hi, what's your name? And what do you want to be when you graduate? We, we asked them that, you know, just in case, you know, just to plant a seed in their mind, you know. Okay, my name is, I know what my name is, and I know what I want to do when I graduate. Even if that's not it, it can, it's close to it. Nine times, out, nine times out of 10, you would follow your dream or follow what you said on the radio, the three and a half to four million people back in the day. So, you know, my name is, my name, and now you get about 10 of them, and then you get the principal on. Tell us a little bit about the school and you know, why should people come to your particular school? Why well, our school is well known for this and that and that. And guess what happens after that? The operator comes in and says, I'm sorry, please deposit 10 cents for the next five minutes or your call will be interrupted. Thank you, this is a recording. The kids were all out, it was a snowstorm that day. They were all out in the snow and I'm standing there with the principals, just standing there with the phone in my hand. I was like, I felt so crazy. And Ken Webb came back, he finished it up. He said, well, I guess the, uh, the operator had to get their 10 cents worth. But that day, they called me into the station, and I'm gonna wrap it up right here. They called me into the radio station, and they said, we don't, want, we don't want that to ever happen again. And so, when you have to go up to the 22nd floor, you knew something was wrong. You know, nobody ever wanted to go up to the 22nd floor unless they were doing business or something like that. Because Percy Sutton's office, and every, you know, Hal Jackson's all, all they're all up there. So they called me up there, and they said, look, that was, uh, that was crazy what we heard on the radio. The operator should never be in on our broadcast. So they opened up this, uh, they took out this phone out of the box. It was like a brick. It was heavy too. It was black. And they said, you know, use this. You know, we're gonna give you the number. You can, you know, wherever you go, you can use this. Now back then, the cell phones were like three, three, four watts because they had to reach a cell site. There was no cell sites everywhere. You know, they were far. They are far out. So um, we used that and the bill was like sky high. Those bills back then. But for the first time, we received a cell phone. And that was like a, a game changer. So you didn't know, there's pictures out there with me and a lot of the superstars back in the day. They weren't superstars then, but they were out in the community with us. Um, and they, you know, you can see them in front of the WBLS van talking out of the front of the van on their cell phone. So a lot of times we had that going around all over the place, but we were the first ones to receive a cell phone on WBLS.